Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers. This one being a little late, but the features are rather exciting. Now, as you can see in front of me, we've got a new block. Now, this new block is not modded. This is a new turret block that's been added. Now, this has been added for small ships. We've got one here on this small vehicle, and we've also got one here on the mining ship. Now, if we have a look over here, you can see we've just got them in the static sort of format. We've got the Gatling gun variant that has holes on all sides, so we can fit little connectors to the side to feed it ammunition. And we also have a larger trapdoor on the bottom. Now, on the other hand, we have the larger rapid firing sort of rocket launcher and that doesn't have any little holes on the side it only has a big port on the bottom now something to take consideration about these are the bases are rather large so you can see we've got the rocket launcher on the back of this truck and if i get the gatling gun out by pressing eight and I click there, you'll just see how much space it actually takes up and requires on that small ship. But I guess that is kind of necessary because these things don't require any aiming at all. It'll all be automatic and they're very useful for defending your back. Anyway, let's see these in action. So I've just spotted an enemy mine layer out there. We've got the blue ship up there as well. We can see that we're engaging it. We've got multiple shots going. Missiles are aiming in automatically. You can see the amount of space that these are taking up. So if we turn to the right, you can see the top turret is tracking and the bottom turret is tracking around the target as well. And they're all landing really direct hits. It means I can concentrate on flying and the missiles can just do the job for themselves. And if I line up both of the rockets here, we'll see if we can get both of them striking down. There's one. There's the right pod. And they're really easy to aim as well. I mean, I'm, I'm literally doing no effort. I can dr drift in through the side here, evade missiles, and the turrets can just keep going. And even if I want to, I can manually control these. So if you do have a ship with multiple sort of crew seats, it means that you could man it as well. Another one of the things that I'm quite looking forward to is to see how accurate these will actually be in a dogfight. Say, for instance, a guy is following you. Will they actually be able to hit the tank? You can see the missiles already tracking this little fighter here are quite inaccurate, but they are getting very close, and the minigun would definitely be a deterrent. You see we've got a missile hit there, and as we escape away, we've still got Gatling fire going down on that target. So these are going to be really dangerous, especially if you come up against a small ship with them in a dogfight. Now, the next thing I want you to take a look at is this ship. Now, this is the new drone carrier, and the idea of this ship is to carry drones to a location, and this is going to be a hostile pirate ship, so you don't want to keep a look out for this it's going to go to a certain area deploy some of its drones and then it will leave this thing is going to be very scary and it will mess up your day now probably the biggest part of this update was the fix of the landing gears and we all know how troubling they were so I put them to the test, I hopped in a multiplayer server with Sage, and we tested them out as both client and host, and in the basic sort of tests of moving them around and doing everything, they worked fine, and in the more advanced tests, they worked as well. Then we started to discover some hidden features. Now the biggest hidden feature was that it's changed how the landing gear works. Now it connects up like a merge block. Now both of them ships now count as one. So it means that the controller in one cockpit can't control the ship as the other person is in control of it. And it's the first one to connect. Now what's even more interesting about this is if you place this on a larger ship and you hack the landing gear and then connect it up to your smaller ship, it loses all control of that larger ship. So that is really dangerous for that pilot. Now we also tested it out by picking up a large gravitational sort of stone and we noticed the mass was transferred to the ship, tipping the ship over and it was rather interesting to see this as well. Now I'm going to leave you with a little bit of discussion me and Sage had and then I'll pop back in to show you some more features. Oh, oh! It's definitely like the whole ship is heavy I'd say. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, anyway, that was oh, rather interesting. Um, right, I have someone else is controlling the ship. You have control oh my God. of the large ship, but you know you don't have the control of the thrusters, but you can you can tow it, and I have no <laughs> yeah, control my at all. Ship is like... So technically, if someone hacks your landing gears, um, and then attaches yeah, like... themselves, <laughs> so you have no control. Well, 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 I have no control. Disconnect. Disconnect. Yep. Go. That that is dangerous. If you so if sick. someone hacks landing gear and then sticks a control panel on. You are completely disabled. If your turrets are gone, yeah. this is this is horrible. Let's see. I can't access all your systems, but I can't. Yeah, it can stop you dead in the tr in your tracks. God, they could even do that from right. Like, in okay, your ship, now too. you lock to me. Well, I lock to you. Okay, yeah, lock we'll to do. me, and I will I will spin the ship to see what happens. Alrighty, and lock. Okay, and I'm else is controlling the ship. We can all plan. spin. Move spin me right through. Okay, I'm stopping, right through, thrusting. It's all working. 
Okay, it's working fine. This is really smooth. This is going to be amazing for survival. <laughs> All the problems we had to go around, you know, do workarounds. Yeah. By the way, check this out. Uh, do you know that now if you control C something, like if I control the antenna ship, uh -huh. copy the whole lot. Let's see. That should be about right. Backing up, backing up. All right, so I'm locked to you. Okay, you're locked to me? Yeah, someone else is using the ship. You're in control of it. That's odd. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, so it's whoever I... locks. So if I disconnect and you lock... And lock. Okay, so I'm in control of you. That's interesting. So, so I'm going to lock you. Hang on, I'm going to lock you. All right, so now we both okay. lock to each other. Can you control? Wait, you still have control. I still have control. So we found out some rather interesting new features that have been added. And the final thing I wanted to show you was the teaser trailer for planets. Just look at this shot. It's like something from Mad Max. Look how small that little rover is compared to the landscape around it. And just look at the fighters as they come in behind it as well. Just how small they are on this massive sort of desolate... A wasteland sort of planet. It looks so cool. As well as this buggy, you can just see the perspective and the sizing of the planets. The buggy is a bit bouncy around, but obviously this is not a final version. It just looks really cool as the dust is kicking up and it's under fire as these sort of ships are attacking it from behind. Anyway, let's thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.